Well, there's a company by the name of Cynet Systems, and they are a IT hiring firm. Well, they were posting a job for Tampa, Florida, and a person caught a requirement for this particular job in Tampa, Florida. Let's put this up. So as you can see in LinkedIn, the job description, they preferably Caucasian who has good technical background, including knowledge of RPA. That was pointed out. Now, just that post alone violates the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which prohibits employers from discriminating based on someone's race, religion, sex, or national origin. So they took the post down. Of course they did that. They claim they fired the person responsible, but this doesn't surprise us at all. And I'm gonna tell you why. Anyone who work in IT knows that that field is very discriminatory. There's a lot of black people, even to the point that people like Jesse Jackson, of all people, was speaking about this maybe a year or two ago. And he was talking about how they do not hire black people in Silicon Valley. Not to say that black people don't go to school for those fields or they can't do those jobs, but they do not hire black people. It is majority white male and Asian. That's what it is. And if not them, they importing people from India to do those jobs. They don't want to hire other groups of people outside of the ones I described. And they keep those jobs on lockdown. So when you see a company that is an IT staffing firm posted something preferably Caucasian, let me tell you something. They don't have to put this, what they put on LinkedIn to want someone preferably Caucasian. Understand that. See, when they blatant with you, it's easy to point that out. But when it comes to hiring, you just have to look at who's being hired. That's any job. Take a look at your job. Look at the demographics of the people there. If you look around and you're the only black employee, or there's only two or three black employees at the job, or you're a different race and there's only one or two of your group, then you ought to know what's up. You see all these white people around. It's not, I'm not saying it's the white people's fault, the ones that were hired. I'm talking about the people who's running the place. I mean, it's easy to take an inventory to see the hiring practices. And if you work in a firm, if you look at places like Google, Facebook, etc., and you don't see equality, then you have to call them out. Because these companies use every last one of us to make their money, especially black people. You know that we make any website pop that we are. That's been proven. I've been told by people who's in tech that how hard it is for black people to get jobs in tech and IT. It's very, very hard. Not because black people aren't smart. Because one thing about black people, we can't say for sure. We can't cheat. They won't allow us to. We don't have the hookups to pay somebody to get our children into prestigious schools. And even if we did do that, we'd be the first one to lock up. So no, we don't have that kind of hookup. So when you have a black student, they have to earn it completely. Unlike other people, but yet they don't want to hire black people because they, they don't want black people with certain amounts of money. Let's call that what it is. They don't like to see us doing well. And some of these jobs are $80 an hour. Some of these jobs are hundred dollars an hour and up very, very great jobs but they don't want us with them. But when you have companies like Cynet Systems, they're saying they want someone preferably Caucasian, you understand why this is going on. So anyone that's in tech, that's possibly watching this video, leave a comment below. I wanna know your experience with this because I've heard from a lot of people just from me interviewing how hard it is for you that went to school some of you even got master's degrees in this field and you have an extremely hard time getting into Silicon Valley because they keep that so locked down where you can't even, you know, get into a craft that you went to school for. You got student loans, etc. But let me know what's your experience in Silicon Valley. If you are in it and or if you try it now, if you are in it, just leave something anonymous. Don't identify yourself at all. I don't want you to lose the job that you have.